Each year in the UK, 150,000 people suffer a stroke when the blood supply to part of their brain is cut off. It's the leading cause of disability, but the quicker a stroke begins to be treated, the better the outcome. For most medical emergencies, treatment of the patient can begin right here in the back of the ambulance. But when it comes to strokes, there is no specific treatment that a paramedic can offer. And that's because there needs to be a brain scan to determine if it's a blockage or a bleed on the brain that is causing the problem. We simply open that and it's like a big plaster. But now a clinical trial involving this little patch could change that. Open that up and stick it in the patient's back. And that's all... It is, it's a little, it's it's like a little a blister plaster. It is, yeah, it is it's literally like a booster plaster, there we go. The patch actually contains a drug that will lower the patient's blood pressure as they travel to hospital, something that's beneficial no matter what type of stroke they've had. So it's hoping to work out whether putting a simple plaster like this on a patient who is having a stroke uh, reduces their blood pressure enough that, uh, the out that it affects their outcome. In right. a good way. In a good way, absolutely. This was about an hour before uh, when we were just setting off on a, on a wonderful snorkeling trip. Justin had four mini strokes while he was on holiday nine years ago. He's been warned he is at greater risk of a stroke happening again. So he's hoping the research is successful and leads to a better treatment. To be able to do something so quickly, to have paramedics carrying these patches with them and being able to sort of put the patches on within minutes which can make an absolutely massive difference to somebody's life. I think it's just such a, a fantastic thing. Ambulances across England and Wales will carry the special packs of patches for the next three years until the researchers have enough data. If the patches do work as well as hoped, they could revolutionise the immediate treatment of stroke victims. Catherine Jones, Five News.